we got to get exclusive reaction now from the White House. The director of communications, strategic communications there, Mercedes Schlapp. Mercedes, thanks for being here tonight. How is the White House feeling after that interview with Martha McCallum and the protesters descending? They all had the same uh, printed T-shirts on, be a hero outside of Susan Collins' office. I don't know why they were allowed to hang out in the Capitol. They should have been thrown out. How does the White House feel tonight? Look, we are so proud of Brett Kavanaugh and Ashley. They went out tonight. They spoke from the heart. Uh, and they sent a very powerful message. Uh, Brett said he's going to fight. He's going to stand strong. And he's not going to be intimidated by those Democrats who are placing false claims on him. And he's, he, he is strong in defending his character and his integrity. And I think that was such an important message for the American people to hear tonight. The pain that they are going through, the vile threats on their family, and the mere fact that the Democrats are playing politics with this family, with this man's life, someone who has dedicated his life to public service, Laura. And, and I have to tell you, when you listen to these Democrats and when they say, you know, the verdict is in, Brett Kavanaugh is guilty, they believe her, then why the heck are we having a hearing if they're believing her and not even giving Brett Kavanaugh the fair process that he deserves, especially after six weeks that they had these lengthy hearings, that they've asked him over a thousand questions, and yet the Mer Democrats continue to try to destroy uh, Brett Kavanaugh Mercedes, and his reputation. Mercedes, what's the message to Jeff Flake tonight? I, from By all my sources, it's not so much Susan Collins who's wavering here. I think she's I think she's been a solidified in her view in fairness, given the activists that have been involved here and what happened over the last week, clearly delaying this to try to get wait for this report to come out. Um, but what's the message for him tonight, given what we've seen? Well, I think the message for all the Republican senators is that Judge Kavanaugh stands ready to testify. He's ready to clear his name. He was ready to do that last week. But as Wendy week, said, Mercedes, this, you cannot, uh, Mercedes, I think, out. Mercedes, with all due respect, you know, I, I have so much respect for you. I don't think it's possible for Brett Kavanaugh to go up there in this atmosphere and be expected. He, we know he says he uh, categorically denies this. He has said this repeatedly in letters and in statements tonight. I think it's a mistake to keep giving into these tactics. What, what, the tactics of the left are, no, are like, this, I, is know, like I, this is like political terrorism, intimidation, emotional blackmail is. and extortion. We've all seen it in different forms in our, in our lives. But this is hideous, what they've done. It, 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 I, you need a little more righteous indignation, not coming out of you, but coming out of some of the other uh, senators on Capitol Hill, because this is beyond the pale. Well, and I and, I, and you saw uh, Majority Leader uh, Mitch McConnell come out strong talking about the smear campaign by the Democrats, and there will be a vote. And we're going to move in that direction, and I think we all agree that it's time for a vote. This is all the Democrats are trying to do to buy time. They want to figure out what other story they can try to fabricate. Right, and they'll come up and with something else. Something. Yeah. Enough, exactly, enough is enough. Yeah, Brett Kavanaugh hold the hearing. has had hold a stellar the career. <laughs> yeah, Laura, we got to yeah. stop this thing about caving in and holding hearings. It, it's not the right venue for this. And the proof of it is the senators don't even want to ask questions. Yeah, in Simone Sanders, speaking yeah. of what the pundits are saying about all this, she was on CNN today about what the majority leader said about the smears. Let's watch. The Senate Majority Leader calling this a smear campaign is, uh, is, a, is, a, is a small dog whistle to the base of the Republican Party, maybe even Trump's base, talking about the, suggesting that he doesn't believe these women. Mercedes, it's just another dog whistle. The, to, now you, now if you just, say something uh, is a smear, I, I don't know what that's about, but that's where the pundit class is going. Final thoughts. Right. No, there's no question. And I think what Judge Kavanaugh is asking for is a fair process. He has spent time talking to these senators, basically making his case as to why he's the most qualified just to, to be on the Supreme Court. And he deserves his, his time. He deserves that vote. He already that vote had his time. They should, now. Mercedes, and I think they should never. Exactly I mean, it's right. too late now, but he, the process was fair. And they reopened the process. Ken Starr said they never should and have it's done been that. I'm, I'm going to keep citing Ken Starr because he said this a week ago on radio and TV right. with me. He was so right. Grassley and Flake and all those. I mean, Grassley's trying to do his best, but I think Jeff Flake, 
You now see what's going on here. Jeff Flake's got to do the right thing and all the other senators. I, we appreciate all of our panelists' time. Uh, Wendy and, and Harmeet, Richard and Mercedes, thank you so much.